Oh, pets. Um, you probably have some. Lots of people have some. Dogs, cats, snakes, tarantulas, whatever. And I just wanted to talk about some. Like, my first pet I've ever had, I think, is my mom's dog back in her old house. I was like three or four with that. And it was a old brown dog. Then I think she had to, had to be put down or she died of old age. And then I think my second was my, my dad got this dog. We called him Dozel. Like a thing in fields, like a bull dozel. Both about the bull. And when he first got him, we were up north around all of our family. I talked about this before in other videos up, up north, and uh, he was really huge, like he was a huge shaggy dog, like a um, thing of m a bunch of smart thingies. But then once he got home after I got back from school one day, he was way smaller because like all the bigness was just full. And then he was got smaller, and we had him for a couple of years until we had to move out of the house because it flooded. It's basically like um. So there was one area. There was like multiple little things around this one big free open field, and like a door, or at least in me and my dad's buildings. Uh, I c could, so there was an upstairs area and a downstairs. Some people were living in upstairs, some people were living in downstairs. Me and my dad lived in the downstairs area. And basically, so, we, um, one day, we had to, uh, yeah, my dad had to bring me over to, my mom's because um, they uh, aren't together like in a relationship, but they both are my parents. So like, we split days. Like, today Thursday, I came over to my dad's on Wednesday, and I'm gonna stay here for that Wednesday. This Thursday, and then I'm going back on Friday. I'm like, we split days like that. And basically, it was raining pretty hard. And by the time my dad got back, he called me and said the whole house was flooded. I mean, like, um, it was about four feet high. And the reason it got so bad was because some water, a good amount of water got in, but not that bad. But once it got over the bathtub, the sewer water came out. So everything that the water touched was garbage because it was sewer water. But, and basically, like, he had to grab Dozo and put him on the, ch on the chill because he was, like, trying not to, he was trying to stay afloat. And then uh, we gave Dozo away. And, um, then we spent some time at Four Cousins because they owed us, when they, they used to live up north, then they came down and la lived with us for a while, but then they found their, ho their new home, and then that's where they're living right now, and we moved in for them for, like, I think two months, my first day of sword grade happened there. And then we moved into this house, which I think my next pet was at my mom's house. And um, I only made one video on both of them. Though, so my first one, we got a pet smoke. Basically, it's a ferret. 
if you don't know what those all sorts of them up, they're basically in like cats and dogs and like long things. And basically, we got one, a gold one, and we named her Echo. And the reason we got her was because I put it when I put in my hand in front of her, she licked it. So we thought, yeah, we can get her. And like we got her a like cage, a nice big purple cage. And then once I got back from my dad's one day, I know I looked on the over by the couch and I saw another black smaller cage and I was like, oh, did you move Echo's cage? But that was a dumb question because I still saw Echo's cage over there and I was like, did you move Echo? Then I went, no, we got a new favorite. And it was a boy one named um, Rocket. Because, like, he had a little thing like Rocket Rac, like a raccoon's face. And we started with Rocket Raccoon from Marvel. And, like, Echo's the skinnier one that doesn't really like. Uh, I mean, they both don't like to cuddle. But Echo's, like, the skinnier one. But then Rocket's the, Rocket's the fatter one. And we still have them. Then, um, my next one is really long later. Oh, yeah, that one video I made of that one dog, the dog I was petting, was just one of my mom's friend's dog. Then, that other video I made of that dog eating ice cream was my cousin's dog. They went up north, so they asked my, normally when they do that, they ask my dad to watch the dogs. And my dad, every single day, like, he would take him to the dog park. His name was Midnight because he's black. And so, every single day, he would, like, bring him. And then when I came over, we went to the dog park, like, 2 in the morning, he would come over and just take him to the dog park. Because my dad is... It's basically like one of those people who normally don't sleep at all during night and then sleeps during the day. Sleeps mostly during the day. And then our next pet was... We both got them at the same time. My mom's pet and um, Skittles, my little one. And I need to do something quick. And... When I'm doing that, you can, I'll show you guys a, a video of my little one. Uh, so, there she is. You might not be able to see her phony, but there's just a bit of her. And she's really cute, so. Yeah, isn't she cute? Well, you can't really see much of her, but I have some other videos of her. Go check those out. And I call those Skinnels because... I saw her skin look kind of like rainbow color, but don't taste the rainbows. <coughs> and then when we do, we got basically my mom's pet, or I guess you can call the fa the family's pet, and it's an axolotl named Spots because it has little spots. Um, like, probably my favorite, I mean, I think I have a fav favorite pet, but I think my favorite is Skittles. Skittles, uh, basically, Skittles is like my dad house. He sleeps during the day and then is awake during the night. Um... Like, yesterday when he went to the pet small, we have to, like, every couple of days, we have to go to pet small, get some crickets, and then feed her some. And basically, like, this time we decided to get the bigger crickets. And, like, we poured 15 in there when we were trying to get one out. And one grabbed onto my dad's hand, and then I grabbed it and put it, tried to put it back in the cage. Age, but it wouldn't come off, and I tried to shake it off, but then it jumped off and went onto the shell. 
And then my dad grabbed it and put it back in the cage. Which is a pretty cool. And basic, wait no, it isn't really that cool. Um, ah, okay, I know. My, um, and you might, well, ah. so, spots is, um, at my mom's friend's house, because basically, uh, what we will see next, see it's not allowed to have an air conditioning. And uh, basically, uh, axolotls need to be kept in cool environments, like 60 degree places. That's why they live in, mostly live in like underwater caves. Underwater, uh, uh, okay. underground water. Okay, dark water areas. Cold water areas, okay? And basically, we had to move it over to his house. And my mom was thinking, all right, my, and my mom's friend's daughter also had to live on. His name is Uno. And me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And